Welcome back to Discrete Structures. Today we have a pretty short session, but we're going to be talking about trees. When you're thinking about trees, the first thing you probably think about is a family tree. This family tree, as you can see, there's a lot of kind of intermarriage going on, and no. No, 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 no. This is not what a tree is. That is actually more akin to a graph. There's a lot of interconnections between nodes, and no, we're just not going to deal with any of that. This is a tree. Here we can see that the tree has no interconnections between nodes at different levels. The only connections are from some sort of parent creature towards some children creatures. In full disclosure, I'm not actually familiar with whether or not in the actual history of our planet, whether two different species were able to interbreed and create a completely new species, but this is pretty close to what we're going to be using, so we'll call it good. So what is a tree? A tree is a graph with no cycles of any kind. So if we have a tree, we can orient it any way we want. However, generally, instead of orienting it from bottom to top, like we think about a tree growing out of the ground, we generally orient it from top to bottom. Therefore, the root is the node at the top of the tree. The root node is an arbitrary node that we choose to be at the top of the tree. The root node will have some number of branches, which will lead to other nodes, which will have still more branches, and if a node has no branches, it's called a leaf. Alternate terminology uh, include calling any node a parent, and the nodes that branch off of it are the children of that node. One thing that you might want to do when you have a tree is you might like to enumerate all the different nodes that are in the tree. We can accomplish this by two methods, either depth first or breadth first. We're going to do a depth first traversal. We do this by starting at the root node and then repeating the following. If the current node has an unvisited child, we will visit the leftmost unvisited child. Otherwise, we will visit the current node's parent. The traversal will go from 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., all the way to 14. So when we start at 1, the root node, we go to 2. 2 has children that are unvisited, so we go to 3. 3 has no children which are unvisited, so we return back to 2 and check if 2 has any unvisited children. Since it does, we proceed to 4, and then so forth. The goal of the depth first search is we're essentially taking a single branch and following it as far as we can down to the leaf before returning to the previous nodes. The breadth first search takes the opposite approach. For each node, we want to add that node to a queue. You can think of a queue just like you would in real life when you go to an amusement park and you're waiting in line to get on a ride. So we take that root node, we put it into the queue, and then we take the first node out of the queue, and we check each of its children into the back of the queue. We then repeat this process until there are no nodes left in the queue. So here, again, we will go 1, 2, 3, 4. However, instead of proceeding down the tree, we add 5 onto the back of the queue. We then take 4 out of the front of the queue, and add its children to the back. Now we would check 5's children, except for 5 has no children. So we check 6's children, then 7's children, and then we add 9 and 10. We check 8's children, we add 11 and 12, and so forth. Take a moment and notice that the tree can have an arbitrary number of children at each branch point. Since we're talking about computers, we're going to go back to our old friend, the number 2. In a binary tree, each node has 0, 1, or 2 children, and these children are called the left child and the right child. It's important to note in a binary tree that whether the child is a left child or a right child is important. To show this off, we're going to talk about binary tree traversal. The first type of binary tree traversal is the pre-order traversal. In a pre-order traversal, we start at the root node, and we print the current node, and then we explore the left child tree, and then we explore the right child tree. When we're exploring one of the children trees, we act as if that node is the root of a smaller tree, and we continue this process in the same way. This type of behavior is called recursive behavior. Here you can see a sample tree that I've created. 
the output of a pre-order traversal is shown at the bottom. Since n is the root node, we start with n. We print the self, and then we explore the left tree, which contains only i. Then we explore the right tree, which begins with p, r, e, and then the left tree of e, followed by the right tree of e. The next type of traversal is called an in-order traversal. This differs from the pre-order traversal in that the first thing we do is we explore the left child tree, then we print the self, and finally we explore the right child tree. The example output is shown below. Hey, it contains the word in order. That's cool. The final ordering for a binary tree traversal is the post-order traversal. In the post-order traversal, we first explore the left child tree, then the right child tree, and the last thing we do is we print the current node. You'll see the output on the bottom of the screen, and you'll notice that the letter N is actually the last thing that we print. This is because we first have to print the entire left child tree and the entire right child tree before printing the current node. You'll probably want to take a moment and practice these three types of orderings on a piece of paper, just to prove to yourself you understand it. And that's it, pretty short video, uh, practice problems time. What happens when you use a tree traversal on an undirected graph with cycles? Does it still visit each node exactly once? It probably depends on what implementation you're using, um, so think about that. Earlier I kind of glazed over this, but one of the things I mentioned was whether a node was visited or not. This might be important for when you're trying to traverse graphs. And finally, can you make a pre- in and post order traversal of this sample tree. Finally, do you like these videos? Did you remember to click the like button on these videos? If you would take a moment and click like so that I can get a measurement of how many people are actually watching these, how many enjoy them, uh, it'll help me make better videos in the future. Thanks.